Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to take a look at another Pilot. So this is a 2023 Honda Pilot EXL 7 passenger. And this is in the crystal black pearl with the black interior. I don't know if you guys can tell, it is super windy out here. But we got the new mic set up, so we don't got to worry about wind no more. So the EXL, this guy is right in the middle. Because you have the LX, the Sport that's below it. And you have the Trail Sport, the Touring, and the Elite above it. So this kind of right, this is a sweet spot, I'll say, as far as features, equipment, and pricing. I'm sure you guys are familiar with the new design for 2023. You get the slimmer headlights, you have the flatter grill, slimmer eyebrow right here, and it's chrome on the EXL. The um, A-pillar is a little bit more slimmer, windshield pulled back a little bit. It just gives you a more boxier feel. It just looks like the original Pilot, even though it's not as boxy, you know, the rear is a little curvy. But it's not as curved as the previous generation. In the previous generation, everyone hated it, said it looked like a minivan, said it's too curvy. Well, Honda did their thing with this new design. So, get these chrome accents in the front bumper as well. You do have fog lights and they're LED, because I know HRV, Accord, um, who else? Uh, CRV got rid of fog lights, but at least you still get them on the Pilot. And you do have front and rear. Uh, parking sensor so you can see the little circles right there so it's gonna be standing on there the grill is not fully black it's like a gray kind of color to it depending on trim level that also will change let's take a look at the wheel design on the EXL I think they're nothing to die for you know nothing crazy but it's you know it blends in it's fine none too crazy you do get 18s on the EXL you also get 18s on the trail sport too most of the trims you get 20s. Um, I think the LX, I, 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 we're gonna look at the trim walk, but I believe the LX is also 18s. So I think the Sport is 20s, trail, um, the Touring is 20s, the Lee is 20s, if I'm not mistaken, but we'll double check that guy. But you can see there, not too much clouding on the side, on the fender. The side mirrors do have LED turn signals in the mirrors themselves, which is pretty cool. It's a nice little touch. The rear, I wasn't uh, too excited about it at first, but I think it's nice. Honda's been just completely redesigned all of their rear ends where it's just not like the previous generation. The Accord is a good example. But you can see you have more parking sensors in the rear. You have this black piece with this little silver piece right here. I don't know if that's supposed to look like a skid plate, but nice design. I love how it says spells out pilot big letters on the back with the Honda emblem right above it. Wipers right above that. I believe your tail lights is a combination, so you have LED brake lights, but then your turn signals is a regular bulb, and I think your reverse signals are a regular bulb as well. Cannot, I'm not too sure, but Honda usually have a combination. The headlights, I didn't even get to mention, the daytime run lights is LED, low beams is LED, and the high beams is LED, turn signals is LED, fog lights is LED. We're going to jump into the interior. It does have smart entry, so you put your hand in there, unlocks for you. The three little lines you'll see right here. It actually locks it back. If you wanted to use the smart entry, open this guy up. First thing we're going to see here, it's an EXL, so you do have the leather seats. And uh, this has a power driver's seat, so it looks like it's a 10-way. So you have lumbar in and out, front and back for your, for your back, of course, and then forward and back for the whole seat, up and down, and then... You can adjust this portion, the lower portion of the seat up and down as well, which is cool. You do have memory seats, two position memory seats, only on the driver's door. And one thing I love is that the rear and front passenger windows are all, they're all um, power up down. One touch up down. I don't know what else I'm all power up down. They're one touch up down for the front and back, which is cool. And let's jump in here turn it on so you guys can so you put your foot on the brakes push the button all pilots besides the elite will have this half digital half cluster uh screen if you get the elite it'll be a full digital uh driver screen as well i believe it's like a 10 inch which is pretty cool so you have your open and close for your uh trunk here traction control off there and that's pretty much it on the previous pilot you did have a row of buttons over here but honda is trying to clean up the interior they try to give you a more simple look without just putting everything on the screens so you do have auto um auto headlights you have parking lights on 
fog lights on and off, wipers on the right side, the little wiper on the back. And you do have off, intermediate, low, and high. If you want automatic sensing windshield wipers, I believe that's Italy and up, but we'll double check on the brochure. I don't know why I'd be forgetting. Off camera, I almost know everything about these cars. And then I get on camera and I just forget about everything. So you do have your scroll wheel here because that screen is digital. And you can see you got some goodies. I went over the screen so many times in the Civics, the, the Cores, Pass, not the Pass, but the Pilot, HRV. But easy to use. Mostly connections are going to be on there. And then you do have your volume. Next track, previous, voice command. Right side is going to have some of your Honda sensing. So you have your adaptive cruise control. It's going to adjust the distance and your lane keep assist. And for the rest of them, you use the scroll wheel and you go to safety support. And then you can see everything here. I believe blind spot was off. I'm going to turn that on. Yeah, so you have your road departure mitigation. I'm going to check on blind spot. Don't know what that's off. And you have low speed braking. And that's cool that they have that on the EXL because I believe on the Accord and Civic, well, on the Civic, I know for sure you have to get a Touring to get that feature. And on the Accord, I believe they saved that for the Touring as well. So that's cool that they have it on the mid-trim pilot. And parking sensors are on and off. Collision mitigation braking on and off too. When we first got the CRV, I could not figure out how to take off the, the parking sensors because previously you would have a, a P button right here and that's how you turn everything off. But now it's all in the menu, so... That is a good to know. All right, so we're gonna come down to the middle here. You have the nine inch touchscreen display here, which a lot of people wish it was bigger. I think it's a nice size. I know the Pilot is a bigger vehicle. I know this is from the Civic and it's pretty much from the HRV and the CRV, but that's kind of how Honda usually is. Like they, most of their vehicles um, have similar features or similar equipment in all of their lineup, but um, if this had the cores 10 inch, I think it would have been nice, but I don't know this uh, Cabin here is so just open and wide and kind of pushed back a little bit I don't know if, if they, they probably would have to redesign This dash to to make it more easier to use that 10 inch because the cord is kind of like the, the, I feel like the the screen is a little bit more closer But that's just me. Anyways, let's look at the screen. So you do have satellite radio Which is cool because on the cord that's gone you do have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, and it is wireless, or you can plug it in. So that's why you have smartphone connection there. USB, Bluetooth audio, um, compass, AMs, all tucked in back here, vehicle settings. Um, you, have, you do have cabin talk, so when you turn this feature on, if you start talking, I'm turning subs again. Probably hear an echo. Yeah, you hear the echo. So whoever sits in the third row can hear you. You don't have to scream, like, where are we going? Or do you want McDonald's? Or, you know or something like that so pretty cool um easy to use i'm gonna put the reverse put it the reverse i'm gonna put it in reverse and you do have a normal backup camera um you have a wide angle you have your normal and you have your top down but from the rear cross traffic on and off if you get a trail sport or an elite you will have the 360 which is pretty cool and i know a lot of people wish that the 360 was on more vehicles, but we are just now getting the 360. But I'm actually proud of Honda for still giving us the 360 because we haven't had it like, this whole time. Only thing I don't like about the backup camera is that since it's, you know, from the Civic, and I didn't like the Civic's backup camera because they pretty much used the previous backup camera but put it on a bigger screen so it looks more, I don't know, it could have it had a better detail if they just revised the, the camera, but that's just me. So. You have your climate control down here and look how easy everything is touch screen up there climate control here and you can see you have heated seats in the front if you want heated seats in the rear you have to get a elite if you want ventilated seats up front you have to get an elite but you do have heated seats three different um, levels driver passenger tri-zone climate control so driver passenger and whoever sits in the rear can have three different zones and you can actually turn on and off the rear zone and you can actually lock their button back there too which is pretty cool you have a little storage down here. I don't think most modern phones won't fit all the way in there, so I don't know what you put in there, but at least you got storage. USB A and USB C. So you have both. You have the older charging, you have the newer. You have a power outlet here as well. EXO will give you a wireless charging pad with additional storage so you can fit two phones here and charge one. A lot of people will have to get used to this because when I go on a test drive, a lot of people are like, okay, so how do I move this thing? 
But yeah, it's, it's a push button. So you hold the brakes and you go into reverse. And reverse is different position than the rest of them. That way you know which one you're pushing when you're not looking. Neutral and then drive. And then you push drive again to put it in sport mode. But it, it's real easy to use. And this is the second generation 10 speed automatic transmission. So this one is less, I guess, clunky than the previous Pilot 10, the 9 speed actually, I think it was on the Pilot. Yeah, I think the Pilot the 9 speed. So yeah, a lot of people complain about the previous Pilot transmission. So they really, um, really improved this one. And when you test drive one, you, you'll see what I'm talking about. Cup holders, simple, plenty of storage. You have your drive mode, so you do have a parking, um, your parking brake. Usually you would have had a foot pedal on a previous Pilot right here. That's gone, now it's electric. And because you have electric parking brake, you get that brake hold. But if you turn on brake hold, then while you're in drive, your pilot will hold the brakes and he can take you feel off the brakes. It's actually pretty cool. Now the drive mode. So pilot has a lot of drive modes now. So you can see, let me actually zoom up in there. You got sport, you got econ, normal, snow, trail, sand, um, tow. And that's all your modes there. I'm going to leave it at normal, which is pretty cool. Previous uh, pilot didn't have that much drive modes. And you do have the button to turn on and off your auto stop feature. And you do have a down, uh, downhill descent control. It's like cruise control going downhill. Don't think nobody's really going to use this as much, but you do have that. Take a look in your storage bin here. There's no connections at all, but plenty of space. Um, they, they brought this little storage cubby over here, which I really like. You can just drop a phone in there or a pen or some paper or something like that. And then you do got this single stitch. Not sure this is real or not, but it looks nice. It'll give you some detail. And then you have your, your simple glove box there. And I mentioned this before, the shape of the air vents is actually the same shape of the taillights, which is pretty, pretty cool. Honda like to throw in little Easter eggs and stuff. And let's look at the seat. So you can see the seat is a new design and very comfortable, very smooth. It's all stitched stitch as well. And it's comfortable. You're not going to complain on it. It's bolstered just right, holds you just well. Can't really go wrong. And I forgot to mention, you do have a leather wrap steering wheel, and it is black stitched. And but it's a nice design too, pretty easy, simple. And then, as you work your way up to the mirror up here, you do have a auto dimming rear view mirror with home link built in, so that's standard on the EX. I know EXL. I know on the cords you have to add as an accessory. CRV you have to add as an accessory. Does it come with home link? It will give you the uh, auto dimming, but not the home link. And then on HRV, you can't get home link at all, which is weird, but that's what Honda decided on. So you got that guy. So let's jump out real fast. I'm gonna show you guys the roof before we get to the second row, because you don't get a moon roof. So because of Honda went to the panoramic roof, that's in the trail sport and up, I guess they were like, it don't make sense to have a model with a normal sunroof and then have a model with no moon roof and then have the panoramic roof. So they just went with either you get a moon roof I mean, you get no moon roof or you get a panoramic roof and that's it. So, yeah. All right. Let's jump into the second row. First thing you're going to notice, doors open almost 90 degrees, really wide. Get your kids in and out easy. You got built-in sunshades. Pretty cool. Peasant blockers. Like that. Cup holders in the door. Additional storage. Even more storage down here. You have storage everywhere. Like you're not gonna have to worry about your kiddos not having any type of storage. So let's jump in the second row here. I do have the second, the, I have the driver's seat all the way back. And even with the driver's seat all the way back and it's lean back, I still have space back here. And these seats I'm in can move forward and back as well. So this is a seven passenger. So because you get a seven passenger, you don't have a seat in the middle. You have two captains with the, um, with the armrests and nothing in the middle. But you can get an EXL that's an eight passenger too. So, but you have, you have to have a choice. Because if you get the Touring, the Touring and the Elite will give you a removable middle seat right here. So you can turn into a captain's or keep it at a bench. But if you get a Trail Sport, it's a seven passenger just like this only. EXL, you can get a version that's eight passenger or you can get a seven passenger. And that's pretty much it. For your second row here are the controls. So you get two USB A's. So at least you get some USBs back here. And this control uh, button right here, you can lock this from up front. That's why you have the lock button right there. But if you have mature adults back here, then they can adjust their temperature to however they want it. And they have their own vents back here, which is pretty cool. And behind the passenger seat, you do have a 
a, I call it a map pocket, but it's cool because they even give you a cell phone holder, storage holder thing too, which is cool, but you got one behind the passenger and one behind the driver. That is pretty cool. Now, the third row is folded down right now, and this is pretty important because you guys probably see there's some goodies back there. This pilot has a PPO package, so let me jump out and explain that to you guys. All right, so we're looking at the window sticker real fast. So 23 all-wheel drive EXO7 passenger, and you can see that it has a post-production option. This one is the function package, and that's 405. So from the factory, Honda install those parts and you save money if you get one with a PPO package because you don't have to worry about paying a dealership's um, labor because it's not done at a dealership, it's done from Honda. So that's where the savings actually come in. So MSRP on this one is 4600 but if you would have bought an EXL7 passenger without the PPO package, then it would be $400 less pretty much. It will be 45 and some change. So be mindful that when you're buying a pilot, not all of them come with nothing. Some of them come with a package on there. And when we go over the brochures, I'm gonna show you guys what I'm talking about. So let's jump into the, the rear. You do have a power tailgate. See the back of the camera? There's a washer next to the back of the camera. That's actually new for the pilot as well. So with this PPO package, this one comes with the first aid kit, the cargo net, and the cargo um, cover. And what's cool with the cargo cover is it can stretch and attach to the back of your second row if you just want this whole thing covered. Now, this is a seven passenger, so there's no middle seat for this piece to connect to, but it's cool that you still get that. Now, I know I got this cargo net and everything all in the way, but you do have additional storage under here, even though the third row is folded flat there. Now, the storage underneath there will change in size based on, actually, let me take the net off so I can show you guys, because. Based on what trim level you get, it will change. All right, we got the net off real fast. Let's move that over there. This one also has the folding cargo tray too. So if the third row is down and you don't want to mess up your carpet, you got that guy. So the storage under here is pretty deep. Now, if you get a trail sport, the storage under here is going to be a little bit more shallow because the trail sport comes with a full size spare. But all the other trim levels besides the trail sport gets a donut. So being that you get the donut, you have a more deeper, well, you have more space to have in here. Now, if you get a touring or a um, elite, you're gonna see some outlines in the space in the middle because that's where the middle row that you can remove will sit. It'll sit right back in here. And uh, once I get one, um, I'll go over one and show you guys. You do have a power outlet back here, which is pretty cool. And this is an empty button because on the touring and the elite, you have a walk away close feature where you push this button and the tailgate will stay open till a sense you walk away, then it'll close for you, which is pretty cool. So looking under here, you can see dual exhaust and a spare tire under there. But if you get a trail sport, it'll have a hitch in the back standard and you have a full size spare tire, which is pretty cool. All right, let's put this back and Put this net back on with the first aid kit. Forgot to mention, when the third row is up, or if you're using the third row, there are USB A's back here for your third row passengers with air vents and cup holders. So the kiddos, or if you hate some, an adult and you put them back there, they still will be comfortable and have plenty of storage as well. The tailgate is adjustable, so you see how it has this hole to set height. You can uh, pretty much stop it wherever you want and you can adjust it to how high you want it to open and then it'll stay based on the height that you sent. You sent, you set. But yeah, we close that bad boy up. Also, I forgot to mention, you still have your who threw that Cheeto mirror, which I love, bus driver mirror slash sunglass holder. And with the vanity mirrors, they do have LED lights. Now, they're not LEDs. They actually look like regular bulbs. But at least you get lights up there, which is pretty cool. We made it to the trim walk. So we're looking at the EXL. Like I said, the EXL is right in the middle. But before we jump in there, let's get all the rim sizes because I could have sworn the LX. But yeah, see, the LX are 18s. The Sport is 20s. The EXL, we know, is 18s. The Trail Sport, we know, is 18s. And the Touring is 20s. And... 
the lead is Torrance as well. Same thing as the Torrance. So, yeah, so 18 on the LX, 18 on the EXL, and 18 is on the sport, uh, Trail Sport. The EXL will have everything the Sport has and it has add all these features here. Same thing how the Sport has everything LX has. And, you know, Honda's a one size fit all. You don't have to worry about packages. Choose a trim, may have a PPO package, you're good to go. So, the EXL is going to give you the seven drive mode system, you know, which is normal econ, like I went over in the video, 18 inch wheels, two position memory, low speed braking, um, heated body control, power side mirrors, acoustic glass windshield. So the windshield is a little bit more quieter compared to the sport. Um, the sun shades built in on the second row, the power tailgate, front and rear parking sensors, leather trim seats. So the whole seat is not, the whole seat is not leather. Most part is leather on the seat. Um, let me see. Available second row captain's chairs. You get a nine speaker uh, sound system that's 245 watt and it comes with a subwoofer. So this might be important to one of you guys. Um, you need a nine inch touchscreen display, satellite radio, HD, wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto. You get the wireless phone charger. You get the USB A in second and third row. 12 volt power outlet, front console and cargo area, cabin talk, the auto dimming rear view mirror, home link, um, integrated two second row sunshades. Did, did he put this twice? Did I just read that or am I bugging? I could have sworn integrated second row. Look at that. <laughs> I found a flaw. Look at that. They wrote it twice. That is funny. Integrated second row sunshades, integrated second row sunshades. Yeah, they wrote that in there twice. Okay. It in storage well, and the roof rails is not included. I wonder why they added that on there. EXO usually don't come with roof rails, so. But to be honest, this um, EXL is a it's I say is the value trim level because it's right there in the middle. Actually, let's jump right straight to the pricing. All right, so here's all the trim levels. You have LX all the way up to the Elite, and you have the EXL. So I'm gonna just kind of show you guys the colors that's available. That clear? Okay. Um, you have two-wheel drive as an option, or twenty-one hundred dollars more. You get all-wheel drive. Um, has it always been twenty-one hundred for the difference? I'm not too sure. I could have sworn it was like fifteen hundred or something like that. I don't know. But we're gonna do the all-wheel drive, and here are your color choices. You have black. You have lunar silver. Meteor, uh, modern steel, not meteorite. Modern steel, obsidian blue, platinum white pearl, and radiant red metallic two so if you get white or red 455 more ours is black and uh, let's see the interior okay so if you get white white is your only option where you can get two different colors so you can get the gray interior you get the black interior looks like if you do black your only option is black yep if you do silver your only option is gray if you do the, the modern only option is black Blue, the only option is gray, which is usually the case. I'm saying blue usually come with gray, white. Y'all saw the two options and red. Let's see. Gray interior. Oh, black interior. I was wrong. All right. So we're going to do the black so you guys can see the pricing and everything. And uh, pretty much the base price is $44.50 with, without the special color plus your destination handling. You're at $45.395. So... Your mid 40s for the EXL. So if you don't want to spend, you know, 50 grand for the higher trims and you want more features than the lower trims in the lower 40s, EXL is the way to go. And to be honest, this the features in the EXL is kind of what you need. You know, actually, actually, to be honest, you don't really need power uh, tailgate and leather seats. Those stuff are like uh, it's just a, a convenience, I'll say. But. This is a, a good trim, good trim level, good package. Let's kind of look at everything else on here. So you have different wheels. So you can add the 20s on the EXL, but I mean, it's a different design, of course. Oh, these are nice. I like those. Those are actually nice. And then you have the 18s and um, let me see, matte bronze. And then you have the matte black. Those look nice, too. I like the 18s over the 20s, but this design, though, is okay, but... I will probably add one of these. I'll add this on there. That's actually a nice package. What the heck? Oh, <laughs> it was showing that I could put two of them on there. I was like, what the heck? Um, let me see if they show you the, PP the PPOs. So, 
Okay. Is this the P? No. Manufacturer. Okay, here's the PPOs. So from Honda, like I said, you do not uh, choose this when you let's say you let's say you want to order a car. You can try to request this, but it's kind of random how Honda build these cars. So they will give dealerships, you know, let's say they give a dealership 10 pilots. I'll say like five of them probably have one of these packages on there and they can have more than one. They can have uh, multiple packages on there or it can come with none. So pay attention to that. If you see the MSRP is slightly different, it might have a PPO on it. So you have the, the HBD and excited to see one in person. But dang, the helicopter flying over my house. It's like it's 10 o'clock at night. Helicopters flying over my house. All right. Before I was rudely interrupted. You have the HBD package. You have a protection film package. So this comes with door sill protection film, door edge film, rear bumper applique, door handle film. That's cool. That's actually pretty cool. And it adds, how much it adds? It adds 290 to the MSRP. It's not bad. To one package. So this comes with a trailer hitch harness, trailer hitch, trailer hitch ball mount, trailer hitch. So this price will, um, change on the elite because elite has the i think elite and the touring has the no maybe just elite maybe the touring has the two i gotta double check has the hands-free tailgate i think the elite just have that i don't know so that price would be different because you have to add the um i forgot what it's called anyways um and then 300 dollars for the second row captain's chair so if you do a bench style then it's 300 less pretty much which is pretty cool um he's got red stitching on there what, what is this Trail sport trim shown. Oh, okay. It's orange on the trail sport, so I don't know why they weird weird picture. Anyways, we're gonna end everything here. I hope you guys enjoyed uh the walk around and me kind of go over a few things. If I miss anything, you can always drop a comment below. If you ordered one of these, let me know what you ordered. If you already had it, if you already have one, let me know your experience with it. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Um things you could change. What color did you get? Drop a comment down below. Um, I do appreciate everyone that's been coming from my main channel to this channel and subscribing and liking the videos and viewing them. Um, we're going to dedicate the channel just for these walk arounds and that's pretty much it. But I'm going to end everything here. Thank you guys for watching. I'm going to catch you guys in the next video. Mm -hmm.